So I think I've demonstrated fairly clearly that an electric vehicle is a viable option. Mine works for me. Uh, I'm delighted to drive it. I like what it stands for. I drive it all around town. Uh, I don't drive it a lot, admittedly. But then again, you also have to recognize that my vehicle is a pretty pathetic example of an electric vehicle. While it works, and I'm more than happy with it, they can go so much further. They can be so much better if they were industrial pr industrially produced. If they, I were to replace my batteries with lithium-ion batteries, it would increase my range to something like 200 miles, maybe 250. So these vehicles really can do for you what you, what you need them to do for you. They're not for everybody, that's certainly true, but so many people can use these vehicles on a day-to-day -day basis. I can. I do 90% of my driving in that vehicle. The little that I need, or uh, I still use my gas car when I have to go further, but uh, that's not very often. So I invite you, if you have the resources, if you can find your way to build a car like this or have a car like this built for you, I invite you to join the club. We as a population need to wrestle back from the corporations control over our environment, control over our lives. It's not up to them to dictate to us what we want and what we're going to purchase. We must vote with our dollars where we want them spent. We have to show that these are the kinds of vehicles we want. The car companies seem to be interested in only two things, the profit of their shareholders and little pistons going up and down and up and down. Those pistons going up and down break. That's what they like. That's why car companies are talking about building hydrogen-powered vehicles. If you think a gas-powered car today is complicated, and I'm reasonably competent with engines, I, I guess. I mean, when I open a hood, I know what's in there. I don't work on them or anything like that. But in the last 30 years, they've added so much plumbing and all these different things. They're immensely complicated vehicles now. They're computerized and all that. Well, imagine that with a hydrogen-powered car. The complexities are going to be astounding. That's why they want to promote hydrogen-powered cars. That's why they want you to sit around waiting for a hydrogen-powered car. For as long as they deflect your attention from what you can do today, what I did today, and again, I only did this two months ago. I'm a horrible example of this stuff. Look around. There are so many other people. That the guys that made the parts that I bought for my car, they have far better electric vehicles than mine. They're getting good range. So don't use me as an example, only to show how easy it is to do. Find yourself a mechanic. Do it. Make your statement to the world that you're not going to put up with the garbage that car companies think you want. We can do better. We must do better. And by getting out of the gas-powered vehicle world and into an electric-powered car, you'll quickly find out that these things have got a whole lot further to go than gas-powered cars. The range can be improved, but more importantly, the lifespan of these vehicles is so much longer. Uh, other than rust, I don't think my car is going to break for 20 years. Uh, yeah, I'll have to change the batteries. But cars and the way they're made now, uh, it's always the engine or the tranny that blows. Um, well, I don't have an engine, and my tranny now is so underused, it's, it's overbuilt for what it's doing now, so it's going to last a very long time. So what changed me, what kind of got me on the road, it was so many things, um, and, and it's only, we're only talking about two years ago that my whole mentality changed. You know, I'm not a 20-year tr tree hugger, and that's maybe a bit of an offensive word for some people, but I want to make the point that, you know, I eat French fries, and I go to restaurants, and I eat pizza, too. Um, so I'm not a good example that way either, but I knew that this was something I could do, and so I made the statement. But a part of what changed me was, well, I mean, there's just so much um, information now. There's so much, there's news all the time about the, the world and what's happening to it, about global warming and all these things. But one of the things that influenced me was over my shoulder here, my neighbor's yard. He's getting about 50 or so percent of his needs out of his front yard. So I started growing things. In fact, I grew a few things last year. It was awful. I mean, I got some carrots and I got some pathetic potatoes. But this year I'm going to do so much more. We must take back control of our environment. It's not up to the shareholders and the sociopathological corporations to decide where we are going. That's up to us.
show the world what you think, join the club, build an electric car, or find somebody to build one for you. Make a statement. I would love to see nothing but electric cars on the road. They are a future that we can do today. That's another part to all of this is as long as corporations continue to propose ideas, we, myself included, sit around waiting for some new solution. Oh, well, we're going to have the hydrogen car tomorrow, or whatever example you want to come up with. We have to stop thinking about tomorrow. Tomorrow is too far away. We must do today what we can do today. And today, you can make an electric car. It's not hard. Do it. Join the club. I'd love to see you. Thanks for so much for watching and participating in my little experiment. Thanks a lot, guys.